of standard form SPM paper one. Now, every year, without fail, there are two questions in SPM paper one based on standard form. Okay, what is standard form? Now, if a number is to be written in standard form, that means it is written in this form. A times 10 to the power of n, where a is more than equal to 1, less than 10. Cannot be equal to 10, but can be equal to 1. n, n is an integer. Integer means negative, positive, whole numbers. Okay? Integers. Okay. Now, let's say we take an example, like... Six, five, four, three, two, four. Okay, this is a number. We are going to write this in standard form. But before I continue here, remember, if a number is less than one, n is negative. If a number is more than one, n is zero or more. Get it? It's very straightforward. Okay. Now, we are supposed to write this in standard form. Where it is the decimal point? That is important before we start. So, the decimal point is here. So, we move the decimal point. One, two, three, four, five. Five places. Six point five. 4, 3, 2, 4, times 10 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. This is your answer in standard form. Okay? This number written in standard form like this. Okay? This is an example of a number more than 1. Okay? Now we go to another example of a number less than 1. Okay? Have we got this? Shouldn't be very difficult. Okay, let me erase. Okay, another example of a number now less than one. Zero point zero 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 five six three. Okay, now you are supposed to give the answer in standard form. You are supposed to give this in standard form. Right. Now what did I say? This number is less than 1. If less than 1, n is negative. Very simple. And what is the next thing important? The decimal point. So now we move the decimal point. 1, 2, 3, 4, until you reach a value between 1 and 10. So 5 point 6, 3 times 10 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4. Negative 4. Because, like I said, this is less than 1. So this is your answer in standard form. So this is the basics. Okay? I hope you understand the basics. Next, we will do past year, clone past year's questions. Thank you. Hi. Here I have for you a clone question based on the year 2003. You are supposed to express this number as a single number. Now, this number is given in standard form. Now, you write it as an ordinary single number. Okay. Like I said, if this power is negative, 
then this number is less than 1. Okay? So, negative 3 we, means we move to the left. 1, 2, 3. Decimal point is here. This is 0, 0 point, 0, 0. 6, 2, 8. 6, 2, 8. This is your answer as a single number. As simple as that. I hope you have got it. Good. Thank you. Hi. Here, I have for you a clone question based on the year 2003. Okay, you are given this number 2.8 times 10 to the power of 4 plus 7400 express this answer in standard form. Okay, let's see how this is done. Watch. See? 2.8 times 10 to the power of 4 plus now if I convert to standard form it becomes 7.4 times 10 to the power of 3 but I won't do that because I got to save steps you got to save steps when you save steps you save time remember that so watch so this, the decimal point is here. I move 1, 2, 3, 4. So 0 0.74 times 10 to the power of 4. Now you watch carefully why I'm doing this. Because number 1, I get the powers the same. Right? And point number 2. 2.8 plus 0 0.74 is between 1 and 10. So, I save steps. You should do the same thing. Now, watch. So, we take out the common factor 10 to the power of 4. What have we got? 2.8 plus 0 0.74. What is 2.8 plus 0 0.74? You get 3.54. This is 3.54 times 10 to the power of 4. This is your answer in standard form. This is between 1 and 10. Okay? This is an integer. Now, one more thing I must tell you. There are ways... There are other shortcuts which some students do, like trying to get the answer from the calculator, which is not very advisable, okay? Learn the right techniques. Not very difficult. Watch carefully how it is done now. Step by step how it was done. Very simple. I hope you have got it. Thank you. I have for you a clone question based on the year 2004. 6.28 times 10 to the power of negative 5 over 2 times 10 to the power of negative 3 bracket square. You are supposed to express this in standard form. Okay. Now, if you look very carefully, 2 squared using the laws of indices, huh? 2 squared is 4. 4 is divisible. Okay, 6.28 can be divided by 4. And you get a number between 1 
and 10. So you save steps. Watch. 6.28 times 10 to the power of negative 5 over 2 square 4 times 10 to the power of negative 3 times 2 negative 6 what do you get here now you cancel 1 times 4 1 6.28 Divided by 4 is 1.57. 1.57. Okay. So, what do you get? 1.57, which is between 1 and 10, times 10 to the power of... Now, when you divide the power, the top power, minus... Okay, minus the lower power. That means that means negative five minus negative six. What do you get? Negative five plus six. You get one. So your answer is one point five seven times ten to the power of one. Usually we don't have to write the power one. This is your answer in standard form. I hope you have got it. It is not very difficult. Step by step. Thank you.